Hi everyone, in this video we will validate entry and make sure that even float values are accepted within the program and not just digits. But before we do that, let me show you what happens if I don't have this validation happening over here. And so if we try to convert a float, a, a string, and let's say that string is a letter, and we try to convert that into a float, what actually happens to our program? Let's see. So if I type in, for example, one, and here um, the problem, the, the program is has crashed. It says could not convert string into a float. And I'm getting this error over here. So we are trying going to try to um, convert string into a float. And if we get this error, we know that that, that entry contains letters. And if we don't get this error, it means OK, so then the value is actually a float and we can safely convert it into an entry. So we are going to check this entry. And then um, if this entry contains any characters, it will return uh, a string value, for example, yes. Otherwise, it will return no. So let me show you um, how to do that. So I'm going to define a function and I'm going to call this function check entry. So what we want to do is basically um, check this value, the entry. And if if this value, as we try to pass it, or as we try to uh, convert it into a float, if we receive such error, we will return a, a string value. So we are going to try to convert this entry into a float. OK, now if a problem happens here, we will use the except clause. And the clause here specifies, um, you can specify what exceptions you are trying to handle. So we'll use except. And then you can uh, specify the error that we had received over here. So I'm aiming to handle this kind of um, exception. And so if a problem happens here, we will uh, return a string. So you can return a, a true or false, but I'm just going to return no. If this happens successful, the program will execute whatever comes after. So we want that, this to return yes. OK, so this uh, function simply checks the entry. If we convert this entry into a float and it doesn't um, throw a value error, then we return a string yes. Otherwise, we will return no. So what we will do with this information is how our program is going to make sure that float entries are also accepted. So I'm going to capture the result of this um, into a, a string variable. So I'm going to call this is float. This is just going to return either yes or no. So we have um, a variable called is float and we've passed it uh, the, the values from this method is going to be saved into is float, which is either yes or no. Now I'm going to run the loop. So while um, while is float is equal to no. When it's equal to no, ask for the user to enter the value again. OK, so I um, forgot this. OK, and we will check the entry again as well. So every time the user enters a string with letters, we'll ask the user to enter the value again and we'll check. We'll keep on checking that value. Once we are out of this while loop, we know that the value returned here is yes. It means it's just a floating value. We can now safely convert it into a float without having any issues. I'm going to run the program. This should really pretty much be working as expected. And now if I say 3.3, um, it's working as it should. Let's try to put in the value 1. And I should be getting um, enter. I should change my message. Enter float values. Run again. 
stop execution, run again, say yes. So enter the value one, enter float values. So this will accept uh, whole numbers, it will accept float numbers, but it will not let the program continue if I keep on putting text like this until I actually put in a value that is acceptable like 5.5 this is going to try to convert this into a float it goes successfully it returns yes we come back here the while loop here is not true so it will do the rest of the work as we want it to and this will also accept a whole number which is fine as well and that's it thank you and i'll see you in the next video